Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes The idea got started when I was at my grandma's place and she's the one who had introduced me to Frank Sinatra. When I was younger she put on, you know, New York, New York, and my way. Listening to me sing these songs to her around her house, she had this idea that I should go around to other you know, seniors in the area and give them the gift that I'd given her, which was you know, singing Sinatra. She gave me the, this idea and I decided to run with it. In total, I've probably done 50 or 60 shows around the Boston area. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. This is bigger than just Sinatra. This is about Jesse's feelings for the greatest generation. I sometimes think that I might, I might have the soul of like an 82-year-old because um, I take so much pride in the greatest generation. He seems to be so patient with old people. And they're not, I mean, my generation, but not so easy. He feels a tremendous sense of connection to that generation and to their sacrifice. The time that they were becoming adults was the most tumultuous time in American history with World War II. And you know, growing up, being a child in the Great Depression, having to deal with that sort of poverty. So when he performs in this room, Sinatra is the vehicle, but he's connecting with them on many levels. And one of those levels is thank you. I feel like music is such an incredible tool to bring people back to their youth. When you talk with some of these women at, at these homes, they you know, go back to times when they were just so happy and the face lights up as soon as you mention the word Sinatra. To them. And for me, I, I personally love doing it because I get to hear the stories. Of paradise where roses grew. I saw him when I was just in high school in the 40s. At the New York Paramount, that's where I saw him sing. The audience was mostly young girls. We went running in to ooh and ah and scream. The girls were screaming so loud, screaming the way they did for the Beatles. You got emotionally involved. You could express it in a way you really couldn't in real life because you were too young. The memory of love's refrain. What I really like about Frank is, you know, he's a self-made man. He's a guy who grew up in a really, you know, dirt poor family. But he always knew he wanted to be an artist. You know, that's sort of what we all want. If we feel like we were born with something, we're born with a gift, we want to go out there and we want to be able to, you know, bring that to the world. He made himself into this huge persona of music and of pop culture. And like he says in the song, he did it his way. And now the end is near And so I face my final curtain when I was first planning out which songs I was going to sing in each of these sets, you know, I was worried that my way would be a little bit too taboo because a lot of these people that I'm singing for, you know, the end might be near for a few of them. But, you know, getting up there and singing for the first time and everybody was singing that line my way. I did it my way. It's changed me. I think it's made me more understanding of, uh, you know, of, of what happens as, you know, as we get older. I used to be so afraid of, of growing up. I used to be so afraid of you know, getting old. But now I see that you know, that's equally as wonderful because you get to share your experiences with the younger generation. You continually pass that down the line. I faced it all and I stood tall.